Hello and welcome to the Lake District, specifically Lake Coniston. I'm currently bobbing around the middle of Lake Coniston and the Lake District, oh, it's such a beautiful place of the country if you've never been yet. It's in the northwest of England. I only live about an hour away from the lakes and so it is somewhere that I have spent a lot of time and so the Lake District there's 16 well, I was going to say lakes, but actually, I found out recently that there's only one like body of water that can technically be classified as a lake, um, Bass and Thwaite. The rest of them are just bodies of water. They're different things. Um, so that was interesting. There's not all these lakes in the Lake District. But yeah, I have been here quite a lot, and I'll, I'll link below in the description any of the videos that I've got from the Lake District. But it is just a beautiful beautiful place um, we arrived yesterday we've come in the van we came yesterday uh, me and Stephen just for a night just to because it's been such glorious weather in England at the moment so we figured where better to go than the lake lakes bring the soap uh, or the soaps and um, just have fun out on the lake so here's a little bit of yesterday Absolutely wonderful just being out here in the middle of the lake, just kind of bobbing around on the soap. I love it so much. <laughs> Push your bum up. Push your bum up. <laughs> Maybe if you did your paddy, they might teach you how to float and sink. Well, you can sink, but they might teach you what to do. It's impossible. Is it actually impossible? I'm back. I'm back. Are you ready? Yeah, no. no I was ready. <laughs> Okay, oh, I've got
Would you turn first off? What? It is now time that we are getting to bed and this is the first time that we've tried this configuration that I'm in the front. I saw online that some people were using just like a cot bed mattress for their kids in the front and I figured I would give it a go for myself, see if it works, we shall see. And then Stephen is in the back on kind of the, you know, the main bed, purely because he's taller than me so it wouldn't make sense for him to sleep widthways across the van. And this is our view that we're going to wake up to in the morning. Oh, it's so nice. And now it is just before seven o'clock in the morning. I've woken up and I thought the first thing I wanted to do was to come out here onto the lake. Stephen is just having a bit of a sleep in. We'll come out together in a bit when he wakes up, but it's just fantastic. It's just, listen. So peaceful. I can't hear anything other than an odd bit of water splashing on my soap and the birds. It's lovely, but um, I'd like to know your opinion on this, right? Obviously I have a van and I'm using my van to sleep over um, last night because I just slept in a lay-by, you might be able to see it just back there. Um, opinions on whether, so about, well just as I got out here, so it's probably like 10 to 7. I've heard of this before on like Facebook groups, but I've never actually seen it in practice that people who will drive past early in the morning will like toot their horns if they see vans like just to try to wake you up because they don't like the vans being there um, so someone's just gone past at like 10 to 7ish with this big doo -doo 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 -doo, like stupid horn it, like, it wasn't just a beep, it like played a song <laughs> um, and so I was thinking like imagine because I do have a lot of sympathy for uh, like locals if lots of vans are parking up there and I just think that we have to find a solution that kind of works. Lots of places now are putting up like no overnight parking, which doesn't seem fair to people who want to use their vans. But then, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't know what the answer is. But I think that banning overnight parking from all these places maybe isn't the answer. Like, I wouldn't stay here. I would only stay here one day and then I would move on. Like, I don't think you should be staying for days and days. And honestly, there is no... There is no houses around here, like I, I literally can't see a house at all. All I can see is lakes and trees. There are no houses, so I don't really know what the issue would be in staying overnight there. I don't know, I just, I'd like to know your opinions on people with vans. If you have or you haven't got one, let me know. Anyway, I'm going to enjoy my supping this early morning. Maybe, I I probably am not going to stand up to be honest, so it's not going to be supping, I'm just going to be sitting out here in the middle of the lake enjoying the sunrise and just, yeah, oh, it's just wonderful, it's like just, oh, for the soul, just love it. Um, I am drifting though, so I'm going to stop paddling back that way, because I'm going up quite far that way. I've just been sitting here with this view for a couple of hours. Glorious. I'm now going to make myself, well, me and Stephen. Stephen's kind of awake now as well. Going to make some breakfast. Stop.
like it's easier. Yeah. Looks like it's easier. It's much faster anyway. 